In the previous lectures, I showed you that how you can load a UI kit view and we use the UI activity indicator view into our Surfio application. And that's great. But what about loading UI kit views or UI kit controls that depends on a delegate? Now, this can be a UI table view, UI collection view, and also the map view. We have the MK map view, and that does have a delegate, which is the MK map view delegate. So, how do we load those things in our application? So, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go into content view and remove all the code for the loading view. Now, the code that I'm about to write, you should probably write it in a different file, but just for the sake of convenience, I'm just going to write it over here. So, let's reset all of this out. There we go. So, what we're going to do is we are going to create or represent the MK map view in our application. Now, if you do want to use a map view, you can use a map view, which is inside the map kit, I believe. So, if I go ahead and say map over here, map kit, there is a Swift UI view that you can use, which is a map view. But just for the sake of the example, I'm just going to import that. And by the way, the map view that is added to the Swift UI framework, it's not really, I mean, it does some basic stuff, but it doesn't really do uh, if you want to overlay something. So those kind of things it doesn't do, okay? So for this, I'm going to go ahead and create struct. Again, you can use a different file if you want to, and we will create a map view. This will be using UI view representable. And whenever we conform to UI view representable, we need to implement a couple of different things like the UI view type. What is the type of UI view that you will be returning? So I'll say MK map view. Now, when we say MK map view and we try to build it, you'll see that it doesn't even find MK map view. We have to import map kit. So let's go ahead and import map kit. We also need to implement a couple of different functions, which is make UI view and update UI view. I like to put my functions after the type. So let's go ahead and check this out. We have MK or make UI view. The make UI view will be responsible for, well, making the map view. So we can simply say MK map view. And next up, we can simply return it. And that's it. Okay. Now, if for fun, you want to add some sort of annotation to it also, you can also do that. So let me go ahead and add a annotation, meaning some sort of a point, uh, probably pointing to Apple Campus. So you can see that I'm hard coding all of these things, just for fun, all right? And then I can say map dot add annotation, and then I can simply add point annotation. Now, currently, I'm not really using this map view control. So if in a surf UI view, I want to use this, I can simply go to my content view and try to use a map view. And there we go. Isn't that cool? You can even see the annotation that I just added for the Apple campus. So this is great. But what would be really awesome if we can change this pin to maybe Apple logo or something. But for that, we will need to implement the annotation delegate functions. We need to implement the uh, view for annotation. So how do we configure that part? If you look at the map view or MK map view, that does have a delegate property. I can assign it to something, but what will be that something? In order to do that, we will also create a function called make coordinator. And that is going to return you a map view coordinator that we will be creating. Now, what exactly is the job of a map view coordinator? 
Well, the job of the map view coordinator is to coordinate all the events that are generated from the map. This means it can become the delegate of the map. Currently, we don't really have the map view coordinator. So again, you can add a, into a different file or use the same file. I would say add a different file. So we have a coordinator, NS object, and also this will be conforming to MK map view delegate. Once the map view coordinator is defined and it is conforming to the MK map view delegate, now we can go back to our map and assign the coordinator, which is now part of the context. So whatever is returned from the make coordinator, that is available in the context and we can assign it. Great. Other thing that we want to do is somehow we want to give access to the map view inside our map view coordinator. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a property called map view. And once I have the context, I can simply assign the map to the map view. This means that our coordinator, which is the map view coordinator, will also have access to the map view. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and override one of the functions. First, I will call the super. And next, I will register the map annotations, annotation views. Now, this particular function we still need to implement. So I'm just going to go ahead and say register map annotation views. And this function will be responsible for registering the annotation views for the map. And the reason we're doing that is that we want a custom, uh, custom map or custom map annotation. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and perform the map view over here. We're going to get the map view. Next, we can say map view dot register and some sort of a class over here, the class that will serve as the annotation view. So I'm going to simply say apple marker annotation view dot self. Now there is no such thing as apple marker annotation view. And the thing that I'm going to assign over here will be just like the name from the class itself. So it will be the kind of like the same thing. So I can simply use NS string and pass in the uh, Apple marker annotation view self. Now again, there is no such thing as Apple marker annotation view. So let's go ahead and create that also. That will allow us to uh, make sure that our annotation has some sort of a user interface and it does display like we want it to display. So I'm going to say annotation view. When you use annotation view, now we can go ahead and configure it a little bit. We can configure it what will be the size of this particular view. We also have to implement the required function for the init with coder. And finally, the setup function, which is simply going to display us what we want, meaning the Apple logo. There we go. Okay. So this will be our annotation view. It's simply going to display the Apple logo. So what will be our next step? Well, the next step is the map view coordinator, since it is a delegate and it's conforming to the MK map view delegate, it can handle the functions like view for annotation. This means that once we get the annotation, we can perform a switch on the annotation. If the case is that it is a MK point annotation, then, well, in that case, we can actually return our Apple marker annotation. Default, meaning for default annotation, well, we can simply go ahead and return nil. Okay, that's great. Let's go ahead and run our application again. And now magically, you're gonna see that the pin or the marker is replaced by our custom annotation. 
So in this lecture, you have learned that if you have a UI kit control, which we have, which is the MK map view, and you want that to display in a SIF UI application, but you also want to handle the delegate functions, then you can by using the coordinator. The coordinator over here was responsible for consuming and providing you the view using the view for annotation function. So everything can be possible, is made possible by the usage of UI view representable. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then check out my courses on Udemy. I have a lot of different courses on Udemy, uh, including the building real-time chat application using SwiftUI and Firebase, ChatGPT, augmented reality, MVVM design pattern, and V pattern, that's the one that I follow, uh, reminders application clone, and I also publish an application for Swift data that I continuously update. So definitely check out those courses. Thank you so much.